Yes, I know, sorry, this is a late upload. As you can see, I am sick as hell, but you know what else was sick as hell? LB's performance last night. Get ready to fly. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is not going to be a long video. As you can see, I'm kind of in no state to talk right now. Uh, if I stand up, I will fall over. I feel like crap. But I am happy because this team looks really good, honestly. Um, Jets win 3-0 over the Seattle Kraken. Really solid game last night. Defensively speaking, they gave absolutely nothing to the Seattle Kraken in terms of offensive chances, uh, much not very, very often zone entries, not a lot of shots either. Uh, a couple things I want to highlight. Uh, one, um, Dylan Sandberg has continued to impress me. He made an absolutely crucial defensive play on a three-on-one opportunity by the Seattle Kraken. He played it like a pro. Dove down, swiped with the stick to get the play. Broken up, perfect. Uh, Lauren Brassois was solid tonight. Uh, last time he was in net, I felt it was a little shakier than I would have liked it to be. Uh, this time, no issues. Absolutely none. He was, he was money. He was absolutely great. Uh, I'm happy that it, it took a while to get the first goal of this game. Shifley scores uh, in the third period to get this game finally, to finally break the ice in this game. That's fine. Honestly, if you can... I wasn't as scared this game because one, Seattle's obviously a, a bit of a weaker team than the Winnipeg Jets, but also two, the Jets have learned to play be comfortable in low scoring games, and I'm okay with that. Now I'm very excited though because with the two players they're adding, I'm hoping they can be a little more proactive, shall we say, in getting on the score sheet. Obviously, uh, you guys saw the two videos we made yesterday, Colin Miller and Tyler Toffoli. Both those videos did great. Thank you so much for tuning into those. Really does mean a lot. Uh, if this is your first time tuning in, hi. Normally we have better production value than this, but I am looking like the physical incarnation of about to be dead. So uh, this is this is how we're doing it. Um, couple things. Let's just go through it. Actually, what time is it? Moose watch. <laughs> Moose watch. So, the Manitoba Moose have kind of gone streaking. Um, Moose have now won four straight. They get they pick up a massive win over the Milwaukee Admirals in a back and forth game. Milwaukee, by the way, is one of the best teams in league by far. Um, there's also words on potential in terms of dropping players down. Some people are scared that Colt Perfetti is going to go down to the Moose. I don't think he will. I don't think it's gotten that dire yet. But we'll see if he does. It's not the most gigantic loss. I, as long as this team is the the Jets are the best team they can be. I don't care who plays on the Moose. It's 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 quite simple, honestly. Um, yeah, Milic has been solid. Uh, he played really good in this game. Actually, he made some key pivotal saves. One at the end to seal the game away. Um, and there was just goals, 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 goals. I'm. Uh, this team is finding more ways to put the puck in the net, and I'm very impressed with that. Um, not much more else to say. Here's the clips from that game. Lambert in the corner, goes up top. Long shot from Cavalbianco. Tipped in front, they score! Jeff Malott with the redirect in the slot. Hainel, a little stutter step on the wall, squeezes by a check. They'll put it down off the back wall, and it'll come around for Lundmark. Up top, Johnson Fialbi. Right side, Lambert. He's open, he scores! Brad Lambert and the Moose have a 2 0 lead. Now banked ahead for Lambert and Barteau digging to join the rush. Drop for Janssen Fialbi. Looking back for Malott. He gets him and he scores! Jeff Malott fires it home. And the Moose have a 3 2 lead. It goes forward, able to retrieve, but his pass back to the line gets blocked. Though the Moose retrieve here's Hadela drive, rebound. Malott scores! Hat trick goal for Jeff Malott. And the Moose have tied it 4 4. Go. 40 points on the season tonight. He gets it to the net. Save made. Rebound. They score! And it's 5-4 Moose. 
Yeah, and um, just going back to the game at hand, honestly, uh, I don't think there was many penalties. I think that we had maybe one power play. The other team definitely had... Uh, Shifley took a tripping penalty on Burakovsky. Jets did great to kill it. Uh, looked confident out there. Um, uh, Shifley scores. Lowry scores. Uh, the third line getting a goal, exactly the type of goal that you'd want the third line getting, where they're shooting and they're going for that rebound hard to the net. And then Ehlers picks up a point uh, from uh, Monaghan and Iafalo on the empty net, which is just nice. It's nice. It's nice to... It's nice to spread out the scoring like that because sometimes when players go prolonged periods of time without scoring, that that morale can take a hit without us really realizing it. So to be able to subconsciously put up those points, even when they're not necessarily in the most meaningful ways, it still gets across that you are competing and you are getting rewarded for your efforts, which is good. I like that. Um, it was also interesting to see uh, Nikolai Ehlers out there in a six on five situation. He's not normally out there for that. Um, women's side of hockey. Women! 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 So, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna complain a little bit here. Um, so, I don't know if I, maybe I'm just unfamiliar with the inner workings of the world championship team for the female world championship team. Uh, Kareen Schroeder is not the goalie for that team, though. There's three goalies, and none of which are Kareen Schroeder, which makes no sense to me. Because Kareen Schroeder has the best save percentage, the best goals against average. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, she should have been on Team Canada. I like Kristen Campbell, too. And Kristen Campbell has got probably the most amount of wins in the league. Uh, Debian's been solid, and I'm forgetting who the third goalie is. I think Chris, I think Kareen Schroeder is at least better than one of those. Just my personal take. That's just my take. They're all good, good players, obviously. Wanted to just put that out there. Uh, we're getting around the home stretch. I'm going to kind of update the standings periodically. Nothing really new to report. There are some games, though, and here are some highlights from those games. Over to Bourbonnet. Back for Shelton. Shelton, the drive, and he just scores! Poulin, David with her. Poulin makes the move over to David, and it goes in! A two-on-one ends in a 3 nothing lead for Montreal. Coming off a very good, productive practice just yesterday, Howie Draper liked a lot of what he saw. And working in right now, they score! Jillian Dempsey making a couple of moves, gets the shot off, and just like that, Montreal strikes first. Feeds the point. Ella Shelton. Back for Bourbonnet. Across for Shelton and her drive to flex in. And yeah, um, Jets play tonight against the Vancouver Canucks. I'm excited for that. I, uh, Colin Miller and Tyler Toffoli will not be in town for that game. Uh, also good news is we found, uh, well, it's not good news, but they'll be back home for the games after that, which is understandable. You don't need, really need to fly them out there, vigorously fly them out there just for just for one game, you know what I mean? Like, just let him, just let him get acquainted with the city more often. Um, uh, and uh, Gabriel Velarde's injury seems less severe than initially thought, which is a very good sign. I'm very relieved to hear about that. So yeah, hopefully the Jets can keep their wits about them in a tough game against Vancouver Canucks tonight. Uh, we will have that video up hopefully tonight, unless I die, in which case. Actually, I don't want to say that because then you'll be like, oh, we lost him. No, and, and, we, and unless I feel like awful like tonight, like last night, in which case I'll upload in the morning. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Leave a like. It means so much to us. Comment down below your thoughts in this game, the trade deadline as a whole. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Sound off in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. And we will see you next time. One, Nicola Anders. Chips it through, gets it right.